Before I begin to explain everything that I think about the game, to talk about its gameplay, the story that it is going to bring us, the great graphics that this jewel has, that pretty much almost even makes us smell and taste the centaur dumps in the air because of how immersive it looks, I believe that it is more than important that I tell you that Hogwarts Legacy is the game that every fan of the Harry Potter saga could have dreamed of one day and maybe even more. I'm going to tell you clearly. Maybe lately I don't really like to get excited about games because, well, you know, dear old Jesus Christ knows that they have cheated us and broken our hearts, pockets and even asses a couple of times in the process. But with this game, with this game, it's complicated. First of all, if you are a fan of the Harry Potter saga, you will know how incredible that world is. And in this game, I could see that they tried to recreate as faithfully as possible everything that we could sometimes see in those movies. We can find the common rooms, the room of requirements, the forbidden forest, the whole castle, and the secrets that I am more than sure it will hide like the forbidden section of the library. I mean, we can go to Hogsmeade Village to buy items that will help us create different types of potions and necessary things for the game. And if there is something that really left me more than crazy, it is not that only the gameplay as such looks and feels interactive and more than anything incredible, but the fact that we can even use the forbidden spells. I I mean, they showed it briefly, yes, and maybe it is out of context, but we can clearly see our character using an Avada Kedavra at someone, so it tells us that maybe we can be good, or maybe we can be some killer bastards and psychopaths in development in this game. Time is the one thing that will give us the answers, and to avoid wasting any more time in this hellish intro, as always, special thanks to these three beautiful gems for being part of the channel's official patrons of this week on Patreon. And uh, yeah, let's get this shit show started. Hogwarts Legacy. It seems like it was years ago that they decided to announce this game. And if I'm being honest, when this whole thing started, I had no idea that it was going to be such a big game. It's complicated to explain. And obviously, I'm going to do my best in doing so, but Hogwarts Legacy is just that. A gigantic game. In the 15-minute trailer, we were shown more places than I can count, more creatures than I can remember, and more gameplay that I expected from a game of this type, because yes, although the saga of movies has always been incredible and to this day they are some of the best that there are, we know that the games were not always really just as good. I mean, of course, they were not intergalactic garbage or anything like that, but of this type, games from the world of Harry Potter, they just didn't exist until they announced this one. And the first thing that we see when we start to see the trailer and at once what I would like to quickly get out of the way in order to explain everything else are the graphics. Yes, obviously. They are more than good enough graphics capable of melting not only our beautiful retinas but also our asses of straight up excitement. Obviously, this game will be released for the new generation of consoles and it was expected that it would have these great graphics but in this case, that is not the most important thing. But everything else that we see later in the trailer. In the game, we will meet many totally different creatures. As far as I understood, there will even be a centaur village. We will be able to see dragons flying in the sky and some other times trying to bite our asses off, trolls quite different from the ones that we were able to see in the movies, goblins, fast trolls, some others that seem to be, I don't know, giant dogs with some messed up version of a magical skin cancer or some shit. Really, there is an incredible variety and obviously it is to be expected that they did not show us everything in this simple trailer. At the beginning of the game, we can edit our appearance, make our characters look like us, or as I know many of us will do, make it look like some of the characters in the movies if the character designer is indeed good enough. We choose our appearance, they put the sorting hat on us, they give us a house, and we start playing as such. Now, the incredible thing about it all is that, obviously, as time goes by and the game and we advance in our classes, we will be able to see the different seasons of the year. Winter with its snowfalls filling the roads summer, spring, the falling of the leaves. I mean, it is something that will give the game an extra and much needed touch of realism and immersion, and it is also something that will make the whole map never look the same. So, ergo, I thought that it was more than a good idea to include it in this video. 
As for the classes, as they said in the trailer, we will have to go to several. Defense Against the Dark Arts, which is where I suppose they will teach us how to royally beat the shit out of anyone that dares cross us or even looks at us sideways. Potion classes, which is where we will learn to craft everything we will need as we are playing and to help us both in combat and to perform other more normal actions. There will be herbology classes, beast classes, and amongst others that they did not want to mention in that particular video. What we do know is that we will be able to ride flying brooms, which means that this should be another class or maybe not. Seeing that our character is actually in his last year of classes, but Quidditch I am more than sure that they do have to include it, because practically it is something that everyone will want to do and that, if they don't put it on, having creating such a large and vast world would be like avoiding an almost golden opportunity to create something really addictive and entertaining for the players. We will be able to do magic duels with other students, but what is not clear to me is how much will we be able to duel or how far this idea will be expanded upon. Because yes, it should be fun to duel anyone we dislike, but maybe this is not even an option or maybe it is. Perhaps it is an option for dialogue as we talk to people where we ask them if maybe they want us to destroy their asses. I mean, who knows, right? What I really liked is that they said in the trailer that after class we could explore the entire castle, the common rooms of each house, the outside areas, the dungeons that we find inside of the castle, the secret areas, I mean we can discover puzzles like in almost all existing games at the moment and best of all, we can visit places that were only mentioned or briefly shown in the movies and explore them in depth. You don't really see what these places are like, what they have inside, what they hide, what secrets they may have hidden inside of them and this reacts directly with a sense of adventure that each person has and more than anything with how much you like this saga and what you really want to know specifically about this world as such. Regarding the story of the game, with the main enemy, they're going to go full-on World of Warcraft and they're going to make us kick a goblin's ass. I mean, if it's one of those from Grain Gods, believe me, I'll do it with a great pleasure and smile on my face, because we all know that those bankers are born sons of bitches, but I thought that it was interesting that they used a goblin as the main enemy. I believe that they did this, perhaps, to mark the difference between the games and the movies, because in the movies, although we have seen many different beasts and enemies, the main Mainly bad characters and all those who create the real problems have always been human. As for the combat, what do you want me to tell you? I mean, you have been watching this video for a while now. The combat looks totally incredible. We can block or deflect attacks from enemies with Protego. We can incapacitate them by petrifying their asses. We can immobilize them. We can lift them into the air and then smash their faces into the ground. We can pull them from afar. We can set them on fire. And although Harry may have been sanctimonious, this doesn't mean that we have to be too. Because we can literally explode the enemies with lightning from the sky or even throw explosive barrels at them that realistically should dismember their asses into a thousand small pieces. Which obviously is not gonna happen because this isn't a plus 18 game, but you know, you get the point. In short, the combat looks very complete, because we can also quickly apparate, dodge or move quickly and even make us invisible. And best of all, it seems that it will work with some kind of a combo system where we will have to chain the longest ones possible to do the greatest amount of damage, making the player really interested in knowing how to play to burst the enemies that we meet. Inside of this game, we will also have a skill tree where we can focus on different types of branches such as stealth, destruction, potions and herbology. We can take potions that increase our final damage output or the amount of damage we can receive before dying. I mean, what's more, there's even a potion that they showed in the trailer that turns us into stone and I suppose this will give us a much more bigger resistance than usual. We can use herbology in duels and fights like mandrakes to make enemies deaf and incapacitate their asses, we can create some kind of a shelter in the room of requirements where we can create potions, build some kind of a house, repair our items, improve our skills, rescue animals that we find in the world and heal them back to health in that area. I mean, really, it's the game that every fan of the saga has always wanted to play and was able to finally get. And best of all, this great game comes out this year. For sure, I don't know which month, because instead of putting the date directly, they only said that it would come out in the 
holidays, which, you know, this year has plenty of. So, I'd like to believe that they were referring to December. And, really, there is no other choice but to tell you guys to prepare that ass. Because this thing, this thing that is coming is looking insanely good. And you know that's the end of this video, I truly hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. You know this channel is actually supported by Patreon, so if you guys can and want to help me out there, the link is on the right side of the screen. Like I said before, I truly hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.